All right, so I've been mainly doing a really random grouping of videos, but I thought I would talk about a subject that kind of needs to be talked about. I know Pokari touched on this a little bit in some depth, but I wanted to give my opinion and my spin on it. Please forgive the sirens. They've been doing this all day. I will try to cut out as much of it as I can, but New York problems, man. You can't, can't win them all. So anyways, let's go. So, young furries. Pros and cons of having young furries in the community and at conventions and on social media. Let's start with the positive, shall we? So, it's really great that we have younger furries discovering the fandom at a much younger age. It's also really, really great that we have them, you know, learning how to draw earlier, getting more confidence through some of their characters, getting more of a voice in the community, learning about some of the history of the community, and, you know, really becoming members of that community even before, you know, they've gone to college or they've gotten any education because it gives them a little bit more confidence as they get into those situations. They have a bigger support system and they have the ability to learn from other artists if that's something they want to pursue. If they want to go into fursuit making or art or video or, you know, what have you, there's a lot of furries they can reach out to and feel more comfortable with and get that experience from. And it's a great opportunity for them. It's really awesome to have younger furries around because it means we have a younger, newer generation coming in. We'll have new, fresh ideas and definitely bring a lot to the table. And it's really great that that is happening. Now the cons. Some of the cons of having younger furries out and about do not immediately come to mind until you've actually experienced it. So younger furries, because they are younger, tend to be a bit more emotional. Because they haven't fully developed yet, there is a lot of a chance that a lot of these younger furries are still in that high school mindset, or sometimes even younger. A lot of them are under 18, and a lot of them are coming into a fandom that is very adult. There's a lot of adults in the community. And that might be very uncomfortable for their parents or their peers. If you're not familiar, the furry community does sometimes have a more adult skew. It's because a lot of people who started in the fandom, you know, initially came from either Star Trek meets or convention meets or, you know, came to like the first AnthroCon and like that was their first like big gathering. Now, in more recent years, we have the internet. So all of these older furries can like find each other on Fur Affinity, on Furry Amino, on Twitter, on Facebook, on Instagram. Some of us still find each other on DeviantArt now and then. Like there's a lot of places to meet new furries, but the problem is it's become a little bit more saturated on the younger skew because a lot of these younger furries are coming in literally right as we have fully adopted these platforms. And Whereas an older furry might have known better from some of the experiences they had trying to build up the community, a lot of these younger ones didn't necessarily have that experience. I myself did not necessarily have this experience, especially being an older fur who came in late. It took me a while to get my bearings and figure out what the fandom was really about, where to meet people, some of the, some of the good graces to have at conventions. That all takes time. And admittedly, even though I am older and I came in well past the age of 21, um, I'm still learning and it's still a process for me and I realize that and I'm trying to be as respectful as I can. Some of these younger ones, not so much. I'm not saying all younger furries, hashtag not all young furries, but a lot are coming in with all of this already established and they're on the younger side, and a lot of them have come in with the mindset of, you know, I am a furry, therefore, you know, respect me, other furries who have been out there for a while. This is my persona, original OC, do not steal. I'm going to post my Tumblr blog if you trigger me, which I get, and I'm not disqualifying that that sometimes happens for good reason. If you have a really bad experience with someone who is not acting appropriately, I understand that course of action. The problem lies when you have really, really, really 
emotional members of the community who are very young and maybe lack some of the experience there, being highly emotional towards other members of the fandom, and what you end up getting is a lot of these younger furs being the spearheads of drama, and it happens a lot where, you know, maybe someone has drawn a character, but, you know, they don't have the context for other characters that have been drawn like that. Like, if you just joined the fandom and you've never met Telephone, and you just so happen to draw a brownish dragon that has a white ring around its nose and no pupils, and you're not aware that it ever exists, there's a way to go about it and let them know, hey, just so you know, cute persona, but you might want to alter it because there's actually someone already out there with that character. You might want to edit it a bit. I know you probably love the design you came up with it, but hate to tell you, but Telephone actually has that design. I would recommend you change it a little bit so it's not quite the same because they might get a little bit hurt that you've kind of taken their character's visage as your own. That's a nice way to go about it. What you typically see with the younger fandom is going, oh my god, art stealer! And it's like, all right, come on, really? Some people do, admittedly, go out and steal art. It is a thing that happens. But there are also people who don't really have the context of the fandom, and they make a character, and they don't entirely realize that there is something out there already like it. If you make a basic orange fox with the blue hair poof, I will tell you right now, there's probably like 20 of those out there that exist. If you do a super intricate design with like 50 million tattoos and like 20 piercings so that no one else will have that character, you're probably good, but will probably know you're a younger furry because of the proliferation of random tattoos and things. Because that tends to be something that furry, younger furs do a little bit more than the older ones. Just my experience, my opinion, that tends to be a younger furry thing. And additionally, one con that people don't really necessarily realize is cons. Ah. See what I did there. At conventions, typically, if it is an all-inclusive event, that tends to be more expensive for the people running the con. Pulkari actually touched on this in her video, but it is a bit more expensive, and it is a little bit harder because you have to accommodate a bunch of furries that are probably under the age of 18. What does that mean? Well, at a lot of conventions, People like myself, who are of drinking age, like to have room parties. We like to drink, we like to talk, we like to hang out with our buds. We like to do the things that, you know, we're of the correct age to do, like drink alcohol and use bad words and sometimes dance a little inappropriately and listen to music with bad words. But what ends up happening is that events where they have to accommodate younger furries, it's more restrictive in the drinking. We have to be more careful with how loud our music goes, although you have to do that anyway. At dance comps, you can't necessarily use the music with the bad words. And occasionally when you're around the con floor and you say, fuck, there's a younger furry that is going to get kind of insulted because you used adult language. Or even more fun, their parents might be with them because they are under the age of 18 and they'll get offended that you said fuck. So it's, it's a drawback sometimes. And I've experienced it also in the, in the past when people who are younger have wanted to room with me. I drink and I smoke. I vape, rather. I don't smoke cigarettes. I just I vape. But one of the things that occasionally gets my goat is if you're younger and you want to room with older furries, understand that they are probably going to want to drink. So if you're under the age of 21 and they have to change, essentially, their behavior for the con, it does not make it as appealing to room with you specifically because that might not be what they wanted to do with the con. So if you want to drink and party at the con, maybe don't have an underage fur in your room because that's a liability. Um, but yeah, with younger furs, all in all, there are some positives, there are some negatives. I'm not saying it's bad that we have them in general. I'm just saying that, you know, as these younger furries spend more time in the fandom, I do hope that, you know, they come to learn the way I did, some of the best ways to behave and talk 
and interact with the older members of the community who do exist and were some of the forefathers of the community and learn to be respectful both in person and online because a lot of them are but there are definitely some that are not and yeah I guess my last piece of advice for any younger furry is talk to older furries as much as you can get as much information as you can and learn as much as you can before you go to more public outings understand that there's a lot of adults so there's probably gonna be a lot of adult stuff that will make you feel uncomfortable when you're younger and also be aware that if your older furry friend does not want to room with you at a con it might just be because they drink and they want to be able to drink without it being a liability and additionally if you're going to go to a con and you're underage it's probably a good idea to bring your parents because a lot of the older furry friends of yours are not necessarily going to want to babysit if you can't go into certain situations. If they want to go to a lot of room parties and you're not old enough to drink, that's probably not going to make it very appealing for them. It's nothing against you. It's, it's just a fact of life. I hope I haven't insulted anyone with this, but I hope you guys have a super great day. This is just a tiny, teeny tiny topic I want to touch on. And yeah, just get off, get off my chest. All right, have a nice day. Bye.